Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst. We're here on Green Bay today fishing with PJ Vic, and we're gonna check out one of those bites that to me is one of the surest signs that winter is about to give up its grip and uh, spring is on the way. What we're doing is we're fishing some shallow structures today, shallow reefs uh, along the west shore of Green Bay. And today we're expecting to run into walleyes, white fish, pike, and maybe even some big perch if things really line up right. And every one of those species is in this area doing the same thing and that's chasing gobies. Uh, gobies get up here on these hard bottom areas. Uh, they're in the rock, they're in the zebra mussels, and every one of those predator species comes up into these shallow uh, reef tops looking for a meal. So it should be a really good bite today. Uh, starting the day, we've got some decent weather. Uh, should be an awesome time out here on the ice with PJ Vic today on In-Depth Outdoors. <laughs> Not a bad walleye. It's always a really good sign when walleye number one hits top side before all the ice throws right. are out. That is good. And this thing is absolutely choked down too. I actually caught me kind of off guard. I was talking with James a bit there. <laughs> Seen one show up and he didn't mess around. Probably about a 16 incher. You uh you looking to eat any fish, James, or are you? I'll probably wait till later to keep any if okay. I do. Yeah, I'll probably do the same thing. I'll definitely keep a couple for dinner, but I'll let that guy go. All right. Off you go, bud. So we are out here on the Bay of Green Bay. It is the last day of February. And what we're seeing is we're starting to get some fish pushing up shallow um, in preparation for the spawn and uh, we're up in about six, seven feet on a reef structure today, and we're fishing zebra mussel beds. Um, we've definitely talked about this in the past, but uh, it is a killer pattern up here, and we're just using an eighth ounce hammerhead jig with a dead hooked emerald shiner, and we're actually just beating that um, presentation on the bottom. These fish have grown really accustomed to feeding off the bottom because uh, the gobies actually hide down in these zebra mussel beds. So um, I kind of just go ahead and give it a couple pops to get their attention. And when they, they come in and start hovering over that bait, I just do really light little twitches, but constantly kind of keeping it on the bottom, just rolling it back and forth, and then hold on to that with a taut line. And that fish, there was no denying. It just came in and hammered it right off the bottom. So I'm actually using the tuned up Custom Rods Fusion uh, 36 inch and the reason being for that is these fish in the shallow water they come in green um, and also to detect those bites off the bottom this this rod has a much softer tip so I'm able to see those light bites but works great there we go got them I do it is one of those white fish one of them whiteies a nice one. I think it's generally speaking, it's a nice one as far as whitefish are concerned. Yep. You know, if I had a weekend that where I had nothing to do, I'd keep a bunch of these and smoke them, but yep. that's just not my reality. <laughs> They're so hard to hold on to. Come on, buddy. 
go. They are a strong fish. And like uh, like I said, that's generally generally speaking, that's kind of a nice one for Green Bay. Fire him back. He's about had enough of me, and I can say the same about uh, him. Subtlest hit ever, man. Yeah, just a little light tap. That last one that just kind of pinged it, that one was just a, ooh. Oh! Got him! Walleye? Oh yeah, very nice. Walleye <laughs> pike. Got him. Boy, that one didn't waste any time. Add him, baby. Yeah, that one's another good eater. And he's so perfect, I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> <laughs> I would say 16, 17 inches, which is just what I'm looking to clean up. But yeah, it, that was the same deal, just just uh, lightly tapping on the bottom. You know, we have some fish that are coming in a little uninterested. And, then the next one will come and show up and it has a completely different attitude, no hesitation, and come and hammer it off the bottom. So hopefully there's a bunch more just like him yet today and we should have a great time. So far right. the uh, white fish have outnumbered the walleyes a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of weird. It, as the day goes on, that kind of flips around where, sure. where the white fish start to disappear and more walleyes start to show up. So. Walleye! He ain't going anywhere. I would have been hard pressed to lose that fish. <laughs> Get out of there. All righty. Well, I did say later on, I was gonna keep a walleye or two. He's the uh, first of mine on the ice. And that was one of those, PJ. I get no credit at all for that fish. <laughs> Yeah, blindsided. I did. <laughs> I like those. I'll take about a half dozen more of those, please. Yeah. From panfish to predators, nobody does ice fishing like BMC. BMC has created an unrivaled arsenal of weapons for the savvy panfish angler to deploy. It doesn't matter if you're fishing fast or forced to go ultra finesse. BMC has a bite-sized offering sure to entice the most wary panfish. Searching for big fish with teeth? From flutter to rattlespoons, BMC has the most attractive UV finishes and natural bait fish patterns that big walleyes can't resist. Only from BMC. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota has the hottest products for ice fishing at unbeatable prices. Everything from Garmin, Ice Electronics, Ice Shelters, and Ice Clothing from all the top brands. And the newest lithium-powered augers with special everyday pricing on the Garmin LiveScope Ice Bundle. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota, or placing an order online at reedsports.com, our state-of-the-art distribution center ensures you'll get your order fast. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters offers the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Right on that bottom there, bud. Right on. I don't know if I'm dibbling or dabbling, but <laughs> definitely on the bottom. <laughs> Here, little fish. A little walleye. Come here, you. Right in the snoot. 
Boy, you can't hook him any better than that. Good little eater. That one's gonna come home with us, I think. And I need a minnow. Where did we hide those? Oh yeah, over here. There he is. Oh, man, that one just come out of left field. <laughs> there we go. Not bad one. Winning. Got him. Yeah, I mean, it, that fish showed up on the screen six feet off and closed the distance in about a second and just hammered one it. One flick of the tail, done. Y yep, done. <laughs> I'm gonna let that one go. We'll keep some fish a little bit later. Off you go, bud. We'll grab another shiner. Yeah, I hope they got that attitude, man. <laughs> There he is, doing the wiggle and jiggle, right on the bottom. Eh, come on up here, bud. There he is. Well, and you can see the way that walleye's got that jig pinned. Come down on it, try to pick that bait up off the bottom. Looking for the shiner, of course. And what they ended up getting is that jig right in the, right in the snoot. Super nice fish. We'll fire that guy back though. Goodbye. So one of the reasons that you know both PJ and I are using a pretty light walleye rod, and we love you know fast action, stiffer rods when we're fishing, uh, you know jigging wraps or ripping wraps that allows us to give those baits a great action. Um, we're using much lighter power rods right now. I th in fact, I think PJ is using a Fusion, uh, which that's typically considered like a perch or a crappie rod, and I'm using the uh, Precision from Tuned Up Custom, a very um, light action walleye rod. And the reason for that is when you're in seven feet of water and you hook up one of these walleyes, if you're using a, you know, a faster action, higher power rod, you get that fish below the ice in like two cranks of the reel. And then that's where the fish does all the fighting. It's really easy to lose that fish. So if you kind of watch what happens when PJ hooks up or when I hook up, we hook the fish up and they just kind of hold them there. We don't want that fish to do its fighting right below the ice. We want to keep them down on a longer line let them kind of burn off the energy and then work them towards the hole. It makes a huge difference in increasing the number of fish that you actually land versus hooking up. <laughs> got him. Boink. That one had a head shake. What do we got here? Feisty, whatever it is. Just a digging. If it's a white fish, he's turbocharged. Yeah, eh? no doubt. He is turbocharged. Jeez. <laughs> well, he's over there. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a white fish. It's a white fish. Yeah. He's surprised. just really, really aggressive one. Yeah, he's got all of that in there. <laughs> you definitely do miss quite a few the of these fish. The way dashing around, if it was a pike, I wouldn't have been surprised. All right. You miss quite a few of these guys just with that little small mouth that they got on them. So it, when you're when you're doing this bottom tapping technique, you'll get a bunch of real sh sh uh, light taps, and that's usually these guys. So not to fret. <laughs> The Pro Lithium 40 volt light from Strikemaster is going to kick your gas. By combining their 40 volt power head, a new 6 amp hour battery, and the Light Flight laser drill, Strikemaster has achieved the pinnacle of ice shredding performance. Weighing in at 21 pounds, the Pro Lithium 40 volt can drill up to 115 holes through 16 inches of ice, while the Light Flight laser drill provides a smooth, nearly effortless cut. Strikemaster, kick your gas. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Does your sonar offer dual spectrum chirp, producing razor sharp images on an ultra bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping. 
to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand, only from Humminbird. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. Got him. Oh! Got him. What is it? I think it's going to be a walleye. Yes, sir. Nice. Oh, there we go. That's a nice fish. Well done, sir. Yeah. That's I, another one that wasn't getting away. <laughs> once again, I can't take credit just like your last fish. <laughs> you know what? You and I should just keep talking to each other yep. and ignoring what we're supposed to be focused on because it, it, it's working out. I would agree with you. I was looking at you talking to you and just kind of doing the dabble on the bottom and wham. So I'm going to eat that one too. Nice, nice, healthy, around 20. Good, good one for the table. I mean, we're getting into this mid morning and believe it or not, this tends to be one of the better parts of the day is, is midday and early afternoon out here for this bite. Um, it seems like the higher the sun gets, the more of these fish move up shallow, which is kind of the opposite of what, what one would think. Um, but it, it has definitely been a trend lately where kind of a slower start in the morning and as the day goes on the bite has been progressive well hopefully they read the script today James I wrote it in walleye I know <laughs> I mean the white fish are you know better than a sharp stick in the eye but yeah, I, I, I drove here for the walleye <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a fun filler though yeah oh for sure yep oh there it is it's a stinker. Yeah, you're gonna have a few of those once in a while. At least they're good size. Come here, you. Everybody's up here on top of this little reef looking for something to eat. Not the walleye I'm looking for, but you can't tell them apart on the sonar, at least not uh, until they start chasing around. These whitefish do act quite a bit differently on the sonar than the walleye do. The, the walleye, typically when they come in, they're a lot more decisive. You can work a whitefish for a minute and it'll just kind of do this circling motion. It'll shark around you where a walleye makes a decision a lot sooner. Uh, basically, you'll see that bait. If you're working it on the bottom, it'll nose down on it. And if it kind of changes its mind, typically it'll swim off. Those whitefish, they'll sit and work in circles for, like I said, for a minute, trying to decide if they're gonna do it or not. Oop, hey, that's the sucker, James. He's running. He's running fast. Mikey? Yeah. Now he stopped. How's your... There he Got is. him. Hey. Hey. I'm digging <laughs> on it. I'm digging on it. <laughs> the one sucker in the pail. And there it goes. You cannot find him. <laughs> yeah, it was... I think that one's pikey. We're gonna do the trifecta today. We're gonna yep. do the pike, the walleye, and all the white fish we can stand. <laughs> it makes for a pretty action-packed day. I'm it. Yeah. It's so hard to find suckers right now. PJ yeah. drove all over yesterday. I drove all over Minnesota back at home. Can't find them. Vados, Thorn Brothers. Yeah, I, I, I've been all over looking and it is come to an end for the season, I think. This should be We're it right here. Yep. Gotcha. I can't believe that fish did not bite Whoa. us off. <laughs> yeah. You By know, all rights. You know what I did that I never do? What's I left that? my hemostat. Oh, I got, I got a players.
Yeah, the high water they've had out here on the Great Lakes, Green Bay, over the last, well, it was low this last year, but yeah. prior to that, great spawning conditions and the pike population has just popped. Yeah, it's it's booming. Yeah. They've got nice build on them and well, they've they become plentiful. Perch or a white fish or something yep. in there. See you bye. Yeah, pretty fish. Yeah, hey, good colors. How can that... I don't think there's even so much as a nick on there. <laughs> Sometimes it's just meant to be that way. <laughs> Should have bought a lottery ticket yep. today too. I'll go grab another one. Norsk Lithium offers a complete lineup of lithium ion batteries to power your ice electronics that provide huge weight savings and the power you need to fish from sun up to sun down. Available in 7.5, 15 and 20 amp hour capacities, Norsk Lithium batteries are perfectly matched to power your mechanical, digital and live imaging sonar systems. Featuring two patent pending USB ports for powering all of your USB devices and an integrated LED power indicator. Find your perfect battery online at NorskLithium.com. Here at StrikeMaster, our goal, our focus, was to create the warmest, most thoughtfully engineered, and safest lineup of outerwear for the ice angler ever produced. StrikeMaster's SOS Stay on Surface flotation technology will be there if you need it, providing up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. StrikeMaster, wear the hottest brand on the ice. This winter, Reeds in Walker, Minnesota is celebrating their 50th anniversary by giving the viewers of the In-Depth Outdoors TV show the chance to win the ultimate ice fishing machine. Prize package includes a Polaris Ranger XP1000 with tracks and a flatbed trailer. To enter, visit our website at indepthoutdoors.com and look for the 50th anniversary logo to submit your entry. The winner will be selected May of 2022 and I will personally deliver the Polaris and trailer to the winner. Enter today for your chance to win at indepthoutdoors.com. Got him. Winning. Oh yeah, that's a nice walleye. Perfect. There we go. Not a bad one. Right in that midday. Kind of had a little bit of a, a lull in activity there for a while, but I'm assuming things are gonna be picking up as, as we progress here. That's another perfect eater. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that one yet. But nothing's changed, it's just kinda sitting along off this edge. So right right uh, adjacent to us is the reef top and we have about a, a two foot abrupt lip that these fish are just kinda filing up and down and James and I are positioned just off that edge. So when active fish move up, you know, just out of a little bit deeper water, they tend to be just kind of filing up and down this edge and we're here waiting to pick them off. So, go grab some new bait here. Here he comes. I got one way up off the bottom here. Get him. There he is. That one was not a bottom deal. No? <laughs> that one was way up. <laughs> Come here, fish. There, there we go. Boop. Super nice fish. And that one woofed it. Of course, when you, you can kind of tell the way they're hooked up. You know, if they hit them on the bottom, sometimes you get them under the chin or side of the mouth kind of deal because they pin that bait down there. And they come up underneath it like that one did. He was, you know, this far off the bottom. But they get the whole bait in their mouth. All right, just a great fish. Gonna let that one go. Bait up, catch another one. Alrighty. You know, do you think most of these are males so far? I mean, it's hard to know for sure, right? Yeah, they're, they're I, I do think we're dealing with quite a few males, and a lot of times some smaller fish will show up first. The male fish t typically show up first. So. That's pretty much the way it is most of the places I fish. The yep. males are always leading the way. I mean, they show up, you know, weeks sometimes before the females do. Not that there's not going to be females around, I guarantee you there. Yeah, there, there'll be some around. And I'm just fishing a... Uh, eighth ounce hammerhead jig there. That one's got a little pink on the top, a little chartreuse on the sides, and it's at the point now where it's starting to show a little wear. 
uh, teeth are grinding through some of the paint, which is always a great sign. <laughs> Never want to see a uh, perfectly painted jig uh, this deep in the day. Buddy, yeah, another nice eater. Oh, you got one too? I got one right too. On. There you go. So I'm sitting pretty here. Good. I'm actually using uh, Mega Live today on down imaging um, for the simple fact that we're only in six, seven feet of water, and the traditional 2D sonar uh, had about a three foot wide cone angle or so in this depth. and. Here with the Mega Live, I'm, out, I'm able to watch these fish approach from a distance. I'm getting about six feet each direction, so 12 foot total of bottom coverage versus three. It really allows me to watch these fish as they approach and oftentimes just sit off to the side and watch. Um, so I'm able to start working them fish before they would normally even come into my cone. And it, it, it's definitely been beneficial and helped put more fish on the ice. Not a bad one, I'm gonna eat that guy too. Well, that's our show for today. Huge thanks to PJ Vic for being my uh, fishing partner here uh, out on the ice here in Green Bay. It was just a, an all around fun day in that we got in a true multi-species show today. We don't do that very often. Typically we focus on one particular species, but here today on Green Bay, uh, it was walleyes, it was whitefish, and even some pike mixed in. So just made for a great time. And one of the things I want everybody to take away uh, from watching today's show is we are on the front end of this bite. It will continue to get better and better and better as we get closer to that ice out period. Uh, more and more big walleyes will show up, more and more big pike are gonna get worked into the mix. Uh, this is one of my favorite times of year because it really does, to me, signal that transition from that midwinter period and now as we start to move towards spring, when we start to see these fish moving up shallow to spawn. So hope you enjoyed today's show. Uh, PJ and I had a ton of fun out here and we hope to see you soon out there on the ice. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.